what I was once, my dear, dear sister. And this prayer I make knowing that nature never did betray the heart that loved her. Tis her privilege through all the years of this our life to lead from joy to joy, for she can so inform the mind that is within us, so impressed with quietness and beauty. So feed with lofty thoughts that neither evil tongues, rash judgments, nor the sneers of selfish men, nor greetings where no kindness is, nor all the dreary intercourse of daily life shall ever prevail against us, or disturb our cheerful faith that all which we behold is full of blessings. Therefore let the moon shine on thee in thy solitary walk. And let the misty mountains winds be free to blow against thee and in after years when these wild ecstasies shall be matured into a sober pleasure when thy mind shall be a mansion for all lovely forms thy memory be a dwelling place for all sweet sounds and harmonies oh if solitude or pain or grief shall be thy portion with what healing thoughts of tender joy wilt thou remember me and these my exhortations nor perchance if I should be where I no more can hear thy voice, nor more catch thy wild eyes these gleams of past existence, will thou then forget that on the banks of this delightful stream we stood together, and that I, so long a worshiper of nature, hither came a weird in that service, rather say with warmer love, oh, with far deeper zeal of holier love. Will thou then forget that after many wanderings, many years of absence, these steep woods and lofty cliffs and this green pastoral landscape were to me more dear both for themselves and for thy sake. Okay, there's a butterfly on that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>